Hey guys, welcome back to another video. In today's video, we're going to be looking at AMC Entertainment, Dixable AMC and Ape. In today's video, we are going to be looking at proof of AMC and GME is due for a squeeze. Then looking at the real price of $34,000 exposed and the buy signal for AMC and many more in this video. So make sure you guys watch until the very end. As always, we're going to be taking a look at the chart first for AMC. Now, taking a look at AMC, we are up 1-1. 1.11 percent we're within the zone of 453 and 462 again now let's go back to our previous video what we made yesterday in terms of what we talked about with the fact the price action shows sellers are trying to bring us down below the zone but we can see buyers obviously with the wick that we saw yesterday and that's exactly what happened today now right now what we can see with price action is the fight between the zone we can see the price at one point broke above the 462 but it was immediately met with sellers and the price closed within the zone so right now for amc for the final week on the friday we are essentially fighting for where the price of amc is going to close if we are able to close within the zone it's very good if we're able to close above the zone that's even better because it will very likely mean going into next week we're going to have more buyers momentum but if it closes below the zone it will show that the sellers are trying to push their momentum on and potentially going to next week we could be seeing the price go down and that's what we exactly are seeing that's for the friday close tomorrow i'll be making a more detailed video of course but what we have to watch out for tomorrow is the price um action of amc and where it closes between the zone and i've given all three of the things you know we need to be looking out for if we take a look at ape on the other hand so ape is down 2.47 percent today we're closing out 158 now pretty much any technical analysis on ape right now will be the same what we can see here is like we mentioned many times that we're in a consolidation for ape and essentially price going up and price going down isn't anything that will impact the longevity of ape however the things that we only have to look out for the only time when technical analysis is something that to be important is if we firstly break below the zone or we break above this consolidation right now if it just bounces up two percent bounces down three percent it is nothing for ape but if we're going up three percent but it breaks out of you know this consolidation then that's something we're looking at because that's then when we're going to be looking at the upward price movement of ape but so far we just know that it's bouncing in between this consolidation and again waiting upon further news for ape and of course amc as well now taking a look at some of the news today the first thing i thought that this was a very very good picture and essentially what we see is it was stated that amc was the most expensive stock to short in q1 they're shorting amc because of necessity now not just ego they spend billions because they stand to lose trillions and i think that this is very well said that they are standing they are spending billions because they stand to lose trillions we know the hole they've dug themselves in with of course the amc shorts now if amc were to squeeze and they will have to cover every single one of the shares including of course the synthetic shares of amc they're not just losing millions they're not just losing billions they will be losing trillions and that's why we've seen here they are spending millions because they stand to lose trillions they rather spend the 1.9 billion dollars they have already this quarter just to hold their short positions and by the way guys this is not talking about how much they lost from their short position but rather just by holding and creating these short positions they had to pay over 1.9 billion this quarter already just because if they don't pay it and they have to cover these shares then they are losing way above 1.9 billion they are waiting you know they have to pay over trillions of dollars for these short positions and that's the position we're in right now and that's why when you see the price of amc go down when you see all this pressure coming in for amc when you spend seeing how much they're spending on amc it is for a reason because again the opportunity cost for them right now is that they rather spend a hundred billion on shorting amc rather than paying a one trillion they rather spend 200 billion 300 billion shorting amc rather than paying one trillion two trillion etc etc and that's the position they've put themselves in and that's why again it's very normal to see pressure to see price suppression to see price manipulation on amc in the short term because they have to do it otherwise they will lose a large amount of money and they don't want that like i said it is a tug of war between who will give up first they are spending billions of dollars every day every month every year to ensure that they are able to stay in this because they are hoping that amc investors will of course leave they will stop this fight and if they do stop the fight if we do stop the fight obviously they are then able to cover their shares comment down below how long you guys are willing to continue this fight for comment down below how big of a hole do you think they've dug themselves in now the next one we're looking at is in terms of 
the real price um and or just even the amc um the proof that amc and gme is due for a squeeze so what we see here is ape average which gives again firstly um the obv which we talked about and you guys can see the gme obv um for the price going up and when the price went down the obv stayed the same the amc obv the, as the price went up the obv went up but as the price went down the obv never went down so that is the price for amc and gme but then if we take a look at some of the other things you've mentioned so this is a comparison of amc along with apple and amd so this is the amc graph what we can see here is as the price go up we see the obv go up as the price go up further we see the obv go up when we went to the highest but as you guys can see as the price is going down we never really experienced the obv value actually going down if anything there were times where we've actually recovered and see the price still remain at the higher obv now the reason why this is important because i want to highlight this with a comparison so over here we can see the graph for apple now if we take a look at the graph for apple and we take a look in terms of the price and the correlation it has with the obv you guys can see that he's obviously made it into sections as apple goes down the obv goes down as the obv goes up the price goes up the same as well obv going down price going down price going up obv going up you guys can see the correlation that is because the obv essentially shows the buyers that are still within this stock and again if there are more buyers in a particular stock the price of that stock will of course increase if they are less sellers mean uh, if they are less buyers it would have meant that people are selling their stock it wouldn't mean that buyers are left therefore a decrease in the price and that is exactly what we're seeing here and so this is the graph for apple if you take a look at a and d as well you guys can see price going up obv going up price going down obv going out price going up obv going up price going down obv going down you guys can obviously see this correlation it has with the graph and with the obv yet when we go to amc what we can see was at first it did respect this obv going up price going up price going up obv going down there were times which we can see here the obv did go down however if we take a comparison of the obv it is nowhere near in terms of the correlation that we have with apple with amd but not only that what we can see is as the price continues to go down to the price where it is right now the obv value is still very very close to where it was at the height of amc when it hit 72 dollars so what we see here is of course buyers not leaving amc buyers have not even sold amc we are not seeing the price go down because of people leaving amc we're seeing the price go down because of the manipulation because of the suppression and because of the shorts and this is why we are saying that amc and gm is due for a squeeze because the investors are still here because the price the real price of amc the real price of gme is being suppressed but they are not able to continue holding on to this if you take a look at this with gme what we can see here is gman talks about glitch stock does it again but we take a look at game stock and you see it's at 24.69 but what we can see here is that it says 30 is minus 34,565.08 down 99.93 percent for the past six months now why is it doing this again there's only ever glitches with amc there's only ever glitches with gme and what we could potentially be looking at here is of course the real value of gme we have already seen previously in terms of the level two data of amc shares being traded at $30 above of GME shares being traded at $300 and above from where the actual market price that is showing and so this is obviously a very very good example of the price that they are hiding and the real price of what it really should be um guys comment down below do you guys think this is the real price of GME or do you guys think that this was just a simple glitch the next thing we have is from simulation which talks about have held AMC for over two plus years with two different brokerages. I didn't receive one postcard. I already knew my shares were fake. This is just more confirmation. I don't care. As long as I can sell them, that's fine. Keep selling Chewbacca shares. They pay the same. Um, and again, this is just another way of proof. We know that if you have shares, you obviously would have got the postcard. But his simulation is obviously talking about he didn't get his postcard. And he knew that his shares were fake. Now, we know that during the squeeze, the shares these firms have to cover is firstly the synthetics because that will be the one that causes them the biggest troubles. But they will also have to cover real shares as well. So in this case, it shouldn't be too bothered between having real shares or synthetic shares because either way, they will have to cover both the shares. But 
this is just a thing of understanding that you know that some potentially the shares that you have could be fake just like simulation has talked about here that he knows his shares are fake but at the end of the day it does not matter as long as you're able to sell them as long as firms have to cover these shares and that again is just further proof of the manipulation of the suppression of just everything that is corrupt with the market of what they're doing against us and now further on to look at this which is talking about the buy signal for amc we can be see his five meme stocks to sell immediately and also saying finally retail investors are beginning losing interest in AMC Entertainment, which is completely, completely false. But they're saying this because if we go back, they are rather spending billions because they stand to lose trillions. And that's why they're saying to sell AMC. Anyway, guys, thank you for watching the video. I'll catch you guys next time.